working at a horticulture college bangalore we are advances nursery because we are thinking nursery is very small nothing is from that but my as per my knowledge Com commercial production aspect is one side horticulture crops nursery play a vital role for growth and development of horticulture in and around bangalore up to uh, atibale uh, near up to the come to the down to the up to koyambatur there are so many nurseries are there it's a big uh, uh, business in uh, horticulture industry so uh, nurseries also uh, if you have a skill if you have a knowledge need not to go for the a government job because one of one of the example means our own professor dr kareena might have madam might have known him he was resigned for the associate professor at the department of vegetable science bangalore he started this own care area in the nursery development now he is getting more, more salary more income per, per month then as as a professor we are getting something more than that he is and he is very popular he is very uh, identified person in the state and uh, uh, in, uh, in the country so if you make mind horticulture is a wide not only the vegetable nursery not only the fruit nursery or flower nursery you have a lot of opportunity you have a knowledge you have a skill definitely you are uh, fit into different industries in horticulture if this next please so you might have known this is a place uh, nursery is in a place where seeds are sown seedlings are raised finally transplanted into particular place either vegetable or fruits or plantation whatever it may be particular place is a very small place is required nursery is not a big very small uh, place is required what why, why uh, nursery is only one point i am asking why nursery is required why not because all the vegetables most of the vegetable seed uh, seed seeds crops are rising through seed propagation you might have known more than 90% of the crops through seed propagation now we are thinking about the vegetative propagation that to to get the quality seedlings quality is very important so if quality is there automatically growth is there automatically yield is there Finally, we will get the fetches for, for more fights per, per unit area. Then, please. So, these are all the uh, Hathibaliya and Bangalore near. These are all the uh, techniques to make a harna and uh, big uh, money in different uh, crops. Flowers you can take, vegetables you can take, nar fruit nursery you can take, medicinal and aromatic plants you can take. So, it's a wonderful things are there. Wherever you can go, the people are doing the money, money, money. Three to four, five uh, crops they are going to take within a small uh, period. That is why, because why I am telling, if you in the vegetables, you go for vegetable seeds are the gold. I think earlier we are now neglecting the vegetable seeds are gold because you can uh, take the cucumber. Uh, the Syngenta company they have released some varieties, hybrids, uh, Parthenocarpus type of cucumber. Each seed cost is ten rupees. A single cucumber seed, its its cost is ten rupees. You imagine where you are. That is why nursery is important. Directly sowing of the seeds in field or the protected condition is vanished by or damaged by rats and so many things. That is nursery is important because you spend a more money on seed. That is why you have to take care and transplant into the main field. Then you are going to get a good yield from the plants. So that nursery is very important. Please. Next, so these are all. I am not going to tell. So many advantages are there by uh, no, no, raising of the seedlings, either fruits, plantation, whatever it may. So many advantages. Finally, you are going to get good quality and uh, resistance to the pests and diseases, especially the virus in tomato, virus in chilli, virus in gourds. Earlier, only solanaceous vegetables nurseries are practicing. Now, at present, we are started gourds also. Ridge guard, sponge guard, little guard, so many guards are there. For that also nurseries are not only these guards, even the agriculture crops you can take now. Sugar cane today we are uh, uh, raising the nursery. You take ginger, shunti, you know, we are telling you now, turmeric. So, and, uh, so all the crops are uh, through one nursery only. So to get the good yield and good qualities. So the, even some you uh, know, onion, very small seeds. So earlier direct sowing is there. Now uh, we have to go to go to this nursery to get the quality of seedlings. Please go ahead.
So the, the, the criteria, you know, it's where the nursery is located, what purpose you said, there should not be any shades and uh, poly, uh, big trees like that. You select this uh, place, good uh, soil should be well. So many things are there, need not uh, explain, you have, might have studied in courses, please. Next. So growing a soap is important. Without media, you can't grow. Either soil media or soilless media, but the soil is very important. Soil media, soilless media, mixture of both. This the medias are using for raising of the seedlings or cultivating of the crop. Again, silas media is cultivated in these three, two, three types. Silas media, India, is, we are not uh, not required in India, but uh, this perlite and vermiculite, they are using in abroad. In our country, not necessary because too costly. So, which is the, because of nursery and uh, commercial cultivation, you have to think about the low cost medias. So that is why the cocoa peat is the best media. Because why I am telling, if you go to the uh, no, um, uh, Bangalore airport, uh, maybe in the evening or uh, morning, tons together of cocoa peat go to abroad. Because the because of this quality. Earlier the cocoa, cocoa uh, trees waste, no one can uh, uh, use, neglected, always they are burning. These materials, uh, whole coconut uh, waste converted into uh, cocoa feet, uh, that is exporting, that is there are so our own friends are doing this business. Uh, they are purchasing the coconut waste and they are using the, the machineries and make a powder and uh, convert into the cocoa feet and send to the different uh, countries and nurseries. It's a good business if you think. You feel success in this field only, not necessary to go for the nursery. Only media is very important for the farmers. All the things you know earlier, we were preparing the different types of rice beds, sunken beds, uh, so many beds you are, might have learned in this course, different courses, rice beds. Please go. So these are all the flat bed nurseries we, are, we were using. So the next, these are all the sunken nurseries. Depends upon the location, depends upon the season. We are using riser beds, sunken beds, flat beds. Depends upon the season we are using. Uh, even though using of these uh, three beds, there are different problems. Uh, seedlings, uh, there is no proper germination. There is a, so, so much of mortality is there. Finally, you don't get the quality of seedlings. That is why you are looking for the nursery rising uh, uh, high-tech nursery we are you using please go ahead so before uh, you know raising these seedlings so uh, soil treatment is very important with because uh, either media or soil it contains so many microorganisms so many pathogens so the soil treatment is very important the solarization steam treatment for permalin treatment so many aspects are there then only you have to grow the get the quality of the seedlings please so these are all the you know, chemicals you are using, fungicides, insecticides, biofertilizers to eliminate and enrich the soil of the nursery. So then only you will get the good and quality and uniformity seedlings. Next. So at last, finally, this fourth method is the uh, recent method of uh, raising of the uh, quality and uniform seedlings. Earlier three methods are told. Uh, still, uh, if you go to the north uh, India, still the people Jammu Kashmir, uh, Himachal Pradesh, uh, they are still they are practicing olden methods, uh, razor beds, sunken beds. But in uh, South uh, can, uh, India, people are uh, recently using this type of uh, nurseries. For this nurseries, uh, there are uh, there is a subsidy from the government of Karnataka, government of Tamil Nadu. There are good uh, facilities uh, after uh, your uh, graduation. Uh, you go for uh, a loan and other uh, they are going to give this uh, uh, financial support for your uh, uh, rising and uh, construction of nurseries and all. So, please, next. Uh, benefits of high tech nursery, you might have known all those. It's an, uh, not only the nurseries, it's an entrepreneurs. If you make anything, already I gave example, Dr. Karina from uh, Bangalore, he became a good, uh, now he is uh, not only the waste of fruit plants, he is go to IHR, uh, the adjacent to there, his uh, nursery is there, all horticulture plants are available, every day he is getting more fries per uh, uh, day, that is the motto of that nursery. Development of retail the scale in input industries, that is also the different uh, inputs are required for nursery, that also we have to get. 
especially for rural women they are going to employ so many employment is possible coconut coir industry it is also a waste thing now it is an become an industry that can uh, uh, reutilize and uh, make a value added and export and uh, used for the local nurses also and the mechanization is possible and uh, reduction is drudgery because these other methods are so difficult in this method uh, very easily we can uh, uh, take out the work of the farmers and nursery can also act as a techno agent in spreading not only the nurseryman role is not only the raising of quality seedlings uh, and uniform seedlings he has to act as a scientist he has a knowledgeable person he has as a extension worker so you have to give a good information to the farmers at what stage of seedlings you have to transplant what the spacing we have to uh, adapt so many guide uh, the, like he has is one of the gu- uh, guide to the farmers that is is also possible later technologies improved varieties and all information uh, uh, you will get from the nursery man uh, uh, from the nursery man bio you know in our clients so many uh, rising of the seedlings so many inputs are required all these things uh, you will get from the nursery man only that is why uh, you need not to go for you are the scientists you are the students we know where the inputs are available where the media is available but the farmer is not but all the times the scientists are not available that is why the nursery man himself acts as a extension worker so that uh, the it's on varieties and hybrids so many complaints uh, from the farmers uh, he has given as a variety is uh, is telling uh, now sometimes is he tell as a hybrid sometimes is become a uh, high variety after raising there are so many problems uh, uh, leaf curl say uh, now uniformity is there food size quality is not there so these are all the things before purchasing of the seeds you confirm the different uh, you, as a graduates we know which uh, company which variety what is the yield potential everything is known uh, but as a farmer you don't know before entering to this field you have to survey which are all the uh, now icr institutions universities are working which varieties are released a uh, private companies are there because in kolar a very actually i am not uh, teaching to the students every day i am in the field uh, farmers field only because so many problems are there so every day one or the other problem is there sir seeds are illa quality is illa color is illa fruit tomato is a big scale they are cultivating color is not there they are blaming the company what we are doing with the, they don't know uh, so many things are there that is why as a nursery man i will cut finally not blame to this seed company they are going to blame the nursery man so you are given the good seedlings so why the seedlings are turned to the lip curl virus so give composition to ask to the nursery man so that is why you have some knowledge where how to raise the seedlings the virus is very important in vegetable and roots uh, that is why nursery is very you know, protected cultivation is very important for raising the quality seedlings let's please so not take advantage of already uh, know all those media sandri and you all got it anyway no no doubt so i am not going to explain this these are all the different structures and uh, people are thinking oh polyos is required greenhouse is required there are different types of polyos netos shadows is available in uh, in the protected uh, structures maybe uh, as per my knowledge the south indian condition netos is very important uh, shade net is more than enough for raising of the seedlings maybe during rainy season uh, there are some problem with due to heavy rains there uh, the shade net is there inside that they are going to use the plastic sheet during rain heavy rains otherwise need not to, uh, go for the uh, high tech polyos and all high tech polyos is which is more price uh, low cost medium cost high cost greenhouses are there out of that for seed my as per my experience and knowledge uh, netos or shadows is more than uh, enough for the raising of the seedlings for commercial production low cost greenhouses enough for the commercial cultivations of the crop because high cost greenhouse uh, this is not necessary maybe abroad and all the climate is totally different there they need high cost greenhouse because the co- uh, input cost matter is more for 1 acre of uh, polyos construction in a uh, uh, low cost greenhouse 25 lakhs is required medium cost greenhouse 30 lakhs high ir cost high, high cost greenhouse uh, maybe 35 more than 35 lakh the, per acre that's why uh, i am telling low cost uh, netos is uh, shadows is more than enough for nursery 
and uh, low cost greenhouse is uh, enough for the commercial cultivations of all type of vegetables in south india please so these are all the examples for raising of different varieties uh, uh, coal crops tomato chilli brinjal so many things are there that side uh, uh, cucumber is there so this is so many uh, 20 days uh, Uh, so what, what about this uh, chili is uh, how many days after uh, transplanting you know raising of se seedlings you are going to transplant the main feed you are all uh, students you are learning how many days is required to transplant the uh, tomato and uh, tomato is 25 to 30 days what about uh, onion that's why we have to need you now tomato is very short duration 25 20 25 days you have to transplant for to get good yield and quality same time chilli 35 to 40 days and uh, onion more than 45 days is required in case of cucumber 35 days 40 days anyone are ms students in how many of ms all are please yes how many days after uh, 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 your seedlings are transplanted to the main field today your uh, so on take up sowing so usually tomato 25 30 days chilli 40 by 40 days what about uh, cucumber how many days after, after sowing we are transplant into main field maybe 40 days 50 days yes why not yeah? yes answer is there no problem yes 15 days maybe near to me my point yes because cucumber is very very short duration after 15 days maybe 12 days is ideal to ship to the main field otherwise you are not going to get the because stage of the crop is very important nursery stage very important once the age is over even this seedlings are established in main field you don't get the good growth and yield that is why cucumber seedlings and some gourds especially rich gourds so gourds all within 15 days we have to transplant into the main field then only the growth is there yield is there otherwise it is very difficult so small small things you are going to forget that's why you have to know as a vegetable man yes please protected such as we need and already in different types i told nylon mesh is there uh so if you don't have paisa you go go for uh, shared net in the uh, 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 insect proof net is also possible very simple structures uh, stone is locally available in addition to that one more, this is one techn- one type of so why this uh, uh, downside of this uh, phrase there is a blue sheet is there why already tray pro tray are there again they are putting one uh, plastic sheet below that what is necessary improve the quality yeah roots are going to penetrate into the soil while uh, shifting of the seedlings the roots are going to be damaged that is why the uh, plastic is placed below this so entire seedlings are uh, roots are in the co- cocoa pit media only so easy to transplant it is that is the technology you can see this uh, simply now last time bengaluru or kelidaga nal kada kelidaga ಸರ್ ಮಾಯಿಶ್ಚರ್ ತ್ಯಾವ ಇದಾಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತತೆ ಮಾಯಿಶ್ಚರ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೋ ಅಬ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ನಮಗೆ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಫಿಕ್ಸಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮನಿ ಫಾರ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೈಟೆಕ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪಾಲಿ ಹೌಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ರೈನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಓಪನ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ so this is the locally in the north india and all how nicely they are growing the crops and all uh, locally bamboo sticks and all uh, without any uh, using a much uh, amount uh, they are constructed this is the medium class greenhouse this uh, cost is about 25 by lakhs per acre it's uh, costly that is why locally available materials can use and uh, re- uh, for, uh, go for the production of seed yes next so one more point is there is the, that's the plastic sheet very clearly so this is one of farmer at uh, uh, kolar kolar is meant for tomato earlier is gold mine now it is kolar tomato gold uh, mining is there you know, is very large scale they are cultivating please next next so these are all the pro trays you might is very important pro trays are there different sizes are available for different crops 
फार्टी एट से अंड फिफ्टी से सेल फ्रोट्रेस आर अवेलेबल इन दार्केट दिस इज दि फ्रोट्रेस डिफरेंट फ्रॉम क्राप टू क्राप फॉरेस्ट स्वीडिंग कोकोनट सम अदर शुगर कैन आनियन नौ देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोट्रेस आर अवेलेबल इन मार्केट वी आर थैंक्स टू दि जपान इवर इसल पीपल दे हव मैट हव ईडेंटिफाइड लेटर वी आर प्राक्टिसंग दिस टेक्नजी वेरी सिंपल मेथड प्लीज गो इट Uh, uh, that go back, go back, go, go back. Yes, sir. Nursery man, I am telling each cocoa tray how much cocoa feet is required because as a nursery man, as a farmer, I don't know how much quantity I have to purchase. Okay, if I have some more money, no problem. Purchase and waste, I'll put it to some uh, put it in the garbage. Economically, think because you are a nursery man, you have to practice. Each pro tray is going to accommodate one to one point. Five kg of cocoa peat is required. Uh, based on that, how many thousands of seedlings, how many trays are required for hectare of uh, uh, tomato seedlings or uh, brinjal seedlings rice? Based on that, you have to. Pay. Otherwise, again, it burden to you people. That you have to be, keep in mind. Next, so there are different uh, pro trays available in the market. So the onion, cucumber beets, um, uh, swallows, yes, uh, gourds. Size is different. All are plastic trays. No doubt, degradable. That too degradable. Let uh, not, I uh, know, uh, fully of your plastic uh, bags, which are all degradable. No doubt. So then, please. So one uh, Arka fermented uh, consortium production. So because uh, cocoa peat is there, they have uh, developed the Arka consort. They are doing the good business from this Arka fermented uh, cocoa peat. So very simple. Cow peat they are going to purchase. they are going to use some uh, fermented substrate added add to this uh, media uh, with uh, enrich the uh, 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 media to to enriching of the media microbial consortium is the me- uh, media is used to you put uh, to use the media so that the quality of the seedlings are going to be they are naturally they are pr- pr- procure the media from the uh, mandi and other uh, uh, coconut grass Ah, uh, this uh, Arka microbial consortium added to that. It going to be enrich the media because uh, coca peat is a big business. Now you go to the market, uh, tons together, bags together, uh, which are available, and the coca peat is available in two forms: uh, solid forms and black and uh, uh, like your uh, bricks. Uh, no cement bricks are coming, na. Uh, Uh, for constructions of building like that you are uh, you are getting that the bricks are exporting the solid type are locally you are utilizing one brick of coca peat uh, put it in a drum and uh, it dissolve for over 24 hours it become a 25 kg it become like a foam so then it is used to because transport to one place to other There is a technology. It is available black type and solid type. So then uh, they have been uh, permitted for the uh, fee. Solid as final arka permitted COVID. They are IHR. They are made. What is the result of this cycle? Please go ahead. So these are the things I might know. So I am uh, putting one bar or others. Uh, everything you might have now. Please next. So growth of uh, seedlings arka because in uh, different uh, stages. So See, this is the technology. This is the control. Just normal cocoa peat. This is the commercially cocoa peat. This is the fermented. Which one is better now? See the result you are going to get in last. See the backpack. You can see the height of the seedlings, color of the seedlings, size of the thickness of the seedlings. These are all very important. Thickness and uniformity of the seedlings is very important. So fermented, uh, see, less green is there. The stem is uniform, size is more than these two. See here, there are people are uh, admixture into the wood pieces, wood the materials in, uh, from the industries. Now turn together, you are getting waste that is mixed into coca peat and uh, misused to the farmers. That is why uh, while purchasing of coca peat, you have to be very cautious. Otherwise. Uh, this is a good, uh, big business because money. 
uh, they are graduated and uh, made bags and sell to the farmers. Finally, it won't get the quality seedlings. That is why the Arca fermented coca peat is chasing. That is, we also made no doubt. Sometimes uh, you have to add 19 all, is also important to the coca peat, commercial coca peat. It's more than enough. You won't get the quality of the seedlings. Yes, please. So, this is the difference. This is normal coca peat. This is the Arca fermented coca peat. So while uh, pluck, uh, removing this, uh, taking seedlings from fortress, the uh, this uh, media is disintegrate. So there the roots are compact and easily can pluck and uh, transplant in the main field. Hundred percent mortality uh, you know, seedlings are established. So that is why you have to see the quality of the media. So then only you are going to get the uniform and uh, quality seedlings. Yes, please. So treatment of bio agent, there are these are all the bio agents because uh, coca peat uh, yeah, it has some uh, disease or so many things to eliminate that. These are all the pseudomonas, uh, so many vectors uh, uh, trichotaba viride. Biological agents are going to be added, then it is uh, 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 no, control the incidence of western disease. Please. So this is the transportation technology. Here's people are thinking, oh, how to transport? So they use this much of area. So this is simple technology to hold this, put it in a truck or lorry, easily transport. Uh, one of the farmer from AHR locally, because uh, Mr. Prakash, he was my student at Hebal. Today, he and his daughter, yes, he has completed articles in my college only, Kola. She is doing this business in large scale, large scale. She is not uh, interested to go for the government job. She is working in his father uh, industry. He, is, he was also my student at the uh, uh, no, Nepal, Bangalore. See, if you make mind, you don't uh, think about the government job. Your own way you have to go. Please. So these are all the things. Uh, uh, rising of quality seedlings are not good. What is the cost of the uh, get one seedling of nursery raising? See, net thousand all. I am up, uh, calculated net thousand all five paisa. Price on five paisa. Coca bill on the paper, media building and all, labor cost, labor for maintenance, other plant production, other sections. Altogether, 27 paisa per seedlings is required to raise the one seedling of tomato, capsicum, brinjal, whatever it may be. Again, it depends upon the seed cost. Already I told, one cucumber seedling is, is cost it was 10 rupees, uh, 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 syngenta release. Uh, hybrid uh, type of cucumber. That is why right. again it increases the seedling quality. Because seed is 10 rupees. This cost you can add. Maybe 10.5 11 rupees will come for cucumber seedlings rising. Then what is the result outcome of that? So another uh, 10 11 rupees you are spending for cucumbers for seedling. What you are getting back? Each cucumber uh, seedlings uh, why it will be, you know, be, you know, yield about 3 to 4, 3 kg on average. 3 kg into some, if market is there, 50 rupees, 40 to 50 rupees on average, 25 rupees is there in Bangalore because all cucumber goes to the salad type in the big, big waters. That is why they are uh, released this type of cucumber. So that is why as a nursery man, you have to think uh, the what is the cost of each seedlings. It depends upon the seed. Again, please. So now I come to the seedlings. So you are fertilizing, all the varieties are there, nursery propagation is there, grafting is not a new to us. As article chairman, we know since ancient time, 1960, it has uh, 47 only grafted is started. But still, we are practicing. We are again going, going back to this technology. What is the aim of grafting? Anyone? Why? All the most of the vegetables are propagating through seed only, 90 percent. Now, recently, uh, like uh, Japan, Korea, and all uh, people are doing excellently. They are doing good business. But in India, we are still lack about this technology. Why? Anyone? Huh? Quality? Yield? Maybe quality yield. As for my knowledge, not uh, that. My interest is, is to select best food stock. Cyan is there, rapid. Rootstock is there, you are doing. 
may be your village in different varieties of rinja chilli capsicum best root hack you are telling how oh, it is rest and return for sale later okay 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 so why, why my interest is not only the increasing already it is there increasing of the yield in quality is there everything is there in addition to that the root stock is important for grafting cyan and root stock play a vital role on growth and yield of the all horticulture crops you might have known but here in vegetables the root stock is very important why in tomato there are so many varieties are there capsicum is there all the varieties we have uh, uh, you know resistant varieties are days to come as any variety any hybrid days to come which lose their vigorous uh, then which are easily susceptible to the different diseases that is why uh, our breeding work sometime it will not going to be work that is why you have to identify different root stock for different uh, drought resistant salt resistant uh, wilt resistant that's why we are looking into that matter please okay what is the major threats in vegetables before going to this you uh, know so in the vegetables uh, there are uh, different diseases are there wilt fusarium wilt bacterial wilt so many aspects are there at the time of flowering and fruiting the plant is going to be die that is the wilt cases not dumping of comes in nursery stage only so the this is this disease will come in these are all the soil borne diseases that is why we have to identify the root stock for uh, next bacterial wilt say yield loss of up to 8 to 6% depends upon locations again so on so on this is the wilt of this is the okay next so uh, next next so this is the field conditions of different vegetable crops at the time of flowering nimge elli no in the earlier stage you are not find any uh, disease in the main field at the time of flowering and fruiting we are spending lot of amount to the nursery uh, labor field water and all finally we are losing this crop within a month all crop is going to be vanished in different soils that is why we are going to identify different root stock for bacterial fusarium wilt and drought resistant please so this is the nematodes also again problem polyos nettos and all for that also we are looking yes please so this is the situations of the chilli capsicum tomato and all uh, all the plants are going at the end of lag end of the crop next in even cucurbits also this uh, problem is there for flowering and fruiting which are all going to be spoiled next next this is the situation is in the saw in the field next so that is why control what is the control measure for soil borne diseases there are different soil borne diseases either it is variety either it is hybrid easily susceptible to the different uh, diseases of the uh, soil borne diseases of the plant so what is the first we have to go for the crop rotation we are always telling people are not going to uh, do the crop rotation because tomato is uh, last five months back dollar crop 1 kg 200 rupees 300 400 kola so that is continuously growing that is not a good maybe it is sometime will get more sometime uh, comes to the 1 rupee per kg so that is the lot so that is why anyway to sustain the soil quality to gain the good yield and uh, we are go for cereals one season then go for soil solidification then steam application so when the plant soil every continuous applying of uh, growing of different crops the residues are there automatically but the soil become sick that is why you have to use then chemical treatment use of resistant varieties soil all those these uh, use of resistant soil solidification treatment or even the use of resistant varieties finally the plant is going to be die then what we can do already i told that the time of flowering and fruiting is going uh, which are uh, uh, is like next please that is why the identification of roots of uh, grafting is very important as a resistant variety as the time comes as the days of new race will uh, appear it is going to become a susceptible any resistant i am very resistant to in bangalore condition if i come to uh, the the tenu district i am not uh, tolerant to the climatic condition i have to sustain me 
time is required. That is why the any variety it is going to be lose its originality and finally becomes a That is why grafting is required. That is why failure in grafting cyan and rootstock is very important. Cyan and rootstock. Cyan is the mother block is very important. Rootstock we have to, there are different land races are there in the vegetables. We have to identify quality. Then it will the resident seedlings. Thereafter, you got to go for grafting. Next. And I am not going to tell all those things. This is already occurred in the 17th century itself for the uh, propagation technique in there. And in, in, in the vegetables, in other articles and crops, Japan and Korea, they are not going to seed it. Only they are grafting uh, the cooker beets, uh, uh, solanaceous, and all. So please wait. So the selections of year, the main thing, uh, the concept is to, to select the right rootstock and sign is very important. This is free quality seedlings of rootstock as well as cyan we have to select. Then only it become an individual and quality seedlings. Grafting should be, you can confirm compatibility is very important. Sometime, sometime People are asking to me, I was working in grafting with uh, three students have been completed in grafting, one PhD or another two MS students. The, the, the this, uh, uh, brinjal rootstock is best for uh, grafting of uh, cyan and of tomato is possible. It's possible, as per my knowledge, it's possible. Means, again, there is a drawback. The compatibility of cyan and rootstock is not good. Not good. One may be, it is, even if you compatible, you are going to take only one crop in tomato. In, uh, in case of uh, brinjal by brinjal, you are going to keep as you know, three to four years. You are regularly you are going to harvest the produce. That is why, very important. The next grafting aids, what are all the needs? Uh, next, uh, the multiple chamber, healing the crafts. These are all the inputs are required to do the, you know, grafting in the vegetables. Please. This is the technology, one of my previous words, yes, there is a hassle for prepared, I have not prepared. Uh, this, uh, uh, she is working in uh, uh, Uganda, one company is there, she is giant there, Uganda, she is working there. So this is uh, the roadstock, this is the sire, after that they are going to be cleft grafting, there are different uh, grafting methods, are cleft grafting they are following for vegetables. So this is the, uh, now, uh, 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 humidity you are going to record. So what is the humidity in the control chamber? Finally, you are going to get the single savings. Two and the cyan with one plant. Please. Methods of vegetable grafting we already have heard different grafting techniques are there. Condacious crops you are following. And in cooker beds also you are following. Uh, in uh, uh, cooker beds is the approach grafting is also possible. Approach grafting in the uh, Thibay, uh, Bava. We are how we are practicing the approach grafting like that. Here also it's possible. The cleft grafting is possible in vegetable uh, solanaceous species. Next. So there are different uh, methods of uh, grafting. Out of that, uh, the, we are selecting the cleft grafting for the uh, no solanaceous uh, vegetables. Cleft grafting. Cleft grafting is. Uh, Pin grafting is followed in uh, uh, this uh, cooker bits. Pin grafting, just uh, uh, root cyan and rootstock simultaneously sow in the nursery and uh, rootstock uh, uh, two leaves are plucked. The cyan of this uh, uh, same uh, cucumber placed into the and place uh, and fix the pin. So that is you can call it pin grafting. This was uh, done in your university also, and I was with the, the uh, Armagam sir, Dean, ex Dean. I met with him. Uh, uh, by that time, also, I learned that also. Okay, please. So, this is the method. Just the pin method, I told you know. Yeah, this is the root start, that is the cyan. Both together, it become a single plant. It is a possible. Next. Hand graft, approach grafting also possible, but uh, pin method is better than this method. Okay, because already I told different grafting methods you might have learned in fundamentals of horticulture. So, this, which is the uh, method is, is economically feasible, that you have to see. Next, this grafting are, uh, is also possible. 
just slant cutting but the again there is a some problem yielding and uh, of uh, the uh, grafted portion is problem that is why you have selected cleft graft next so this is the best method of uh, grafting just select the root stock give a vertical cut this is the roots uh, cyan so make a bend at both the side of that then insert it into the root stock finally you can use the earlier people are using uh, in uh, mango and support they were using plastic sheet uh, the pepsi tube well, uh, paper you know, plastic sheet or uh, tie now the grafting clips are available that to uh, available in bangalore varsha enterprises if you go to the website uh, there is a website uh, varsha enterprises there all these materials are available so many people are asking where you are going to get grafting clips varsha enterprises in the website uh, you get next so this is the model of uh, this uh, in your university uh, uh, dr armugam sir had done grafting is done by manual as well as mechanical method because manual how many graft uh, tomato sorry uh, fruit crops is okay because size everything is okay is easier to cut and uh, make a grafting but vegetables are small it is very difficult to go for uh, and producing a more number of grafts that is why manually my student uh, manasa sidar uh, was done per day actually i might uh, heard uh, the, 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 the sir armugam sir uh, in uh, through machinery 8800 to 1000 seedlings per hour through machine but uh, my student 500 uh, manually she has done and because it's our interest it is possible for at an average 400 is possible say 400 into 1000 rupees 10 rupees so much of amount so that is the technique okay this is the address of that machine where you are going to get grafting machine anta avaru the address id please go ahead so this is the uh, company from china there you are going to get this uh, materials in india we are not going to get so there uh, from there only you have to purchase this this is a mechanical uh, machine please go ahead so this your uh, laborers are take from there only i have taken this because we don't we are not mechanical at right manually we done we are succeed but this was your ex dean uh, armagam has been purchased uh, this machine is at koimotur long back i have taken photo from there so it's excellent this person is giving uh, root stock this person cyan uh, i think the video is there it's not working or i don't know so both one side one hand is going to be root stock one hand is going to be cyan or both uh, after cutting and joining it become a individual plant later it that is possible so uh, uh, 500 to 1000 seedlings we are going to get yes uh, maybe it think it is possible uh, and then uh, maybe this is the uh, machine different types are there okay robotic type of machine there are different types of machines are there in india we are don't have not working i think okay 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 this so our, our, that is the machinery is doing once our work is very important research is very important here uh, i have collected uh, 50 root stocks of brinjal in different places of karnataka out of that uh, which are the methods of uh, grafting is, uh, method is very important we are tried with different roots of different grafting techniques out of that cleft grafting is very important out of that uh, 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 different roots of salanum uh, tarvam is the one universal graft uh, roots that and uh, one more that is for wilt uh, resistance one more is that uh, salanum grandiflorum is the drought resistant roots that Salanum grandi grandiflorum is there like a big tree. It is uh, uh, some people are telling uh, in Mandai uh, one more one more one more professor was telling oh brinjal tree. He was started grafting on that. Later he told that brinjal tree uh, no because he has been uh, uh, telling. But is now uh, uh, the because of this root stock he don't know what is scientific name what is performance. Just he has been tried long back. After that same materials I collect. bug there is a big tree in the lal bug bangalore i have collected the seeds later i tried grafted uh here yield is very vigorous plant is very bushy uh, more quality is also good this is this is not uh, wilt resistant 
this is drought resistant in kolar area water is major problem that is why i selected drought resistant roast car i chose the that please see this is the thermal tower we have seen in uh, it, this uh, are not cultivated by farmers this is available in field uh, tanks roadside bands like that you are going to get next so these are our thermal car uh, micro car home. this is actually edible one uh, fruits uh, as well as leaf edible uh, but it is not resistance next so these are all uh, indica it is slightly resistant 50 70% resistant is there for the bacterial will resistance the human bacteria next so saranam indica so yes in a encanum it is up to shows 80% but in this it is difficult because more thorns you not possible to make a grafting because fully plant and fruits are having the thorns it is highly difficult to graft so that's why we are uh, uh, this. okay next so this is the saranam grande flora this i identified i to get this scientific name i tried for 3 months I take the help of Dr. Fakhridin. Later it goes to the breeder, no, botanist. Botanist. After that only have to identify it as a grandi flora. So now me you know, but uh, subspecies uh, I I don't know. Later we identify so now grandi flora. This is become a, if you leave this without cutting, it become a big tree. So from this we are collected the seeds. Arise the nursery. Go for going for the rising of the seedlings. that is the motto of this minor research of the two students who are working so this also sesembri polyam one more is there in this all sort of different uh, uh, thorns are there is not possible next please yeah and tomato is uh, root stock uh, grafting is uh, doing some private companies are doing uh, kuppam especially andhra pradesh people are telling and later come to me they are misusing to the farmers everything uh, by from the farmers only they are making the grafting and giving to the farmers so because of the war they are telling getting up seeds is very difficult that is why we have to should have a plan for production of uh, seeds like such uh, type of seeds such so grandi flora and uh, that also the germination is very poor in case of grandi flora that also if we have a technology we can use uh, the growth regulators we get the good germination otherwise you don't get so that's uh, our uh, this uh, uh, no, no. cherry tomato is grafted on uh, brinjal uh, container because these are suited for uh, fall use not the open field so in and around uh, big cities urban uh, this type of uh, technology required that is why we are using uh, uh, this rootstock for uh, next so you want chili is also possible there are some uh, chili sir uh, people are telling you this is relevant to your research uh, topic uh, that is chinese is also very pungent that also resistant to for uh, some water wilt bacterial wilt uh, then this uh, kind of chili by chili uh, tomato is also possible even uh, the brinjal also possible okay please so these are all the pretenses आकाश चिली अंत ना कड़ती वेरी पंजेंट वेरी स्मा चिली सर्वे वेरी स्पैसी कलर इज दट इज आलो वेरी ट्रई नेक्स्ट सो अवट आफ दिस दिस आल दि विच रूट स्टाक इज रेस्टेंट टू दि विच दिस टमेटो चिली कैप्सिकम which are all resistant to different organisms that is very important next it is the same uh, uh, for actually uh, i was in bangalore there or there no it is a collar when bangalore uh, was raised in this one block at bangalore still the seedlings are there next so this is the uh, mother block at collar tarwa this is the tarwa continuous seed production uh, mother block is very important next this is the raising of seedlings next this is the grafted uh, seedlings ready to sell and uh, or grafting that is very important in, in uh, fruit crops we are telling cyan and root stock is same size pencil thickness we are telling you know like the cyan and root stock size should be same if there is very again the combinations uh, union of the grafted portion is uh, difficult 
that is why the age of the seedling sign is very important next so this we are uh, now measuring the rh or the of this uh, size of the girth of this uh, uh, cyan and uh, rootstock next measure so these are all the small uh, we don't want go for big big instrument very small uh, in your geometry uh, you can put and use as a horticulture man always think as a use your pg or phd always you should have a one sketcher one blade is that to put others but uh, the thing is Uh, practicing is very important. These very simple tools are required. So this is the method of uh, road stack preparation. Next, this is the slicing. Again, uh, this is very important. This is the iron. This is the road stack. This is the clip. This clip is available at Bangalore or Santa Cruz. So all right, or anybody can purchase, no problem. So this is the after uh, grafting, put it into the. Uh, Humid chamber is very important. Humidity is very important. Uh, most of the fruit plants uh, propagate in November to December. You get good, uh, uh, you know, success. That is why even in summer also it is possible if you have a humidifier chamber. It is possible 90 per 95% we get the success in this humidifier. Uh, there are different methods, sir. Only putting up sand. After that, uh, placed the uh, uh, the no, seedlings up for protest. It is also possible because the downside uh, uh, sand is there. You are pour water to the sand, and the uh, uh, grafted seedlings in uh, protest placed on that. So continuously, our moisture is there. It is also or if you go for the scientific method, humidifier chamber. Next humidifier. This is the next. This is the humidifier chamber. We are constructed. Next. So this is the humidifier is available in market. You purchase and put it in a plastic uh, chamber. Next, all grafted seedlings. Uh, temperature is very important. Uh, place uh, below 20 degree, 70 degrees. There, you automatically uh, seedlings are going to be success. Next, seven days old. Uh, Uh, yield seedlings are very important after uh, because we are not uh, uh, less than the uh, medical doctors because these are all the uh, articulture operation is there after operation the patient when he is going to walk alone is very important like that after uh, operation or grafting uh, when you are going to shift the seedlings is very important seven days old grafted seedlings are uh, shifted to this uh, uh, hardening chamber Order it, sir. After that, one week, we plant into mainly. Oh, totally 15 days are required. Next. Next. So this is very important. Back. Go back. This portion is very important. important. Someone is going to tie the plastic sheet, but success was not this very. That is why we are using grafting clips. Next. So these are all uh, different. Uh, Uh, for propagation methods. Later, they have come to the transplanting in main field. One of my Afghanistan student is doing. My own student has. Next. So these are all the seedlings. Uh, put it in the after grafting. Put it in the uh, uh, bags. These are in the kupam. They are doing this layer, but transportation little bit difficult. That is why uh, we are uh, naturally we are saying how the tomato seedlings and uh, uh, brinjal seedlings are normally transplanting. In protest, the uh, protest itself it is easy. There they are going to uh, they are put it in a packet or main pin. They are looking to matter. Next, so this is uh, a student was conducted by one of my patient or uh, the ex vice chancellor D L Maheshwar was uh, visited that plant. Later, all other scientists were there, but Bangalore only. Uh, three years back, they are on which is are visited. Uh, this is the one of the. Uh, Uh, brinjal, big brinjal, bottle brinjal is there, na? No? First we tried in that, uh, very good deal we got. Uh. Next, so this is the uh, that is the yield purpose only we tried. This is the disease resistant purpose we have uh, tried by one more student. Uh, there is the pathologist. That is the uh, is uh, the our uh, our last vice chancellor Indresh is there. That's right. I am telling to explaining to him that is uh, Dr. Indresh. So uh, our intention is to. What percent of plants uh, uh, resistant to the bacterial weld? Ninety-nine percent 
are resistant. Maybe one or two chance factor. Otherwise, it's a good. Next. Chemical production, uh, commercial production of grafted. I have given the same uh, unit uh, seedlings per one of the farmer. Uh, same time my student is doing. Both are uh, uh, got the same result. Next. So this is the yield of uh, different. Any either round or green, any brinjal uh, uh, varieties can graft and uh, wild uh, uh, grafted brinjal. Uh, next. So these are all the har harvested fruits from different uh, varieties. So these are all the research data. Out of that, uh, this is the first experiment, only the yield purpose. Michael Levin grafted and Solanum Tarva. They get the good result as compared to others. So more than the normal uh, brinjal. We got that much of tons. Uh, next next slide. Uh, yeah, tons is there. Back, back. Yeah, tons are there now. 61 tons of uh, brinjal we got. It is possible. Uh, even if you go for normal seedling, you are going to get 40, 45 tons. But here, increase uh, the yield uh, two times. Uh, uh, more, 20 percent, more than 20 percent. It is possible. Next. So these are all the uh, different treatments of different uh, rootstock and cyan we did. It is possible, no doubt. All the variants are possible. Next. Tomato we tried one more student, uh, I told in our Manasana, she has been done. So the crop is excellent, it is normal, one crop you are going to get, next crop is not possible because tomato not respond to pruning. As agriculture we know. Maybe cherry tomato a little bit, but normal tomato not respond to the pruning. Brinjal is respond to pruning. That is why organically can cultivate three to four years you have to maintain. Very important. That too, uh, normal spacing method. If you go for fit method, four years it is possible. With so again, uh, he is working on uh, disease and all. So yield is about the same, uh, and, uh, 40 tons and about uh, pranam tarvam or uh, PKM is uh, Actually, PKM is the where taken is the uh, susceptible cyan on uh, resistant rootstock. In uh, others are uh, the only cyan, PKM is there, only uh, PKM one is there. Susceptible check, you, you, you compare the PKM is there, what is the yield? With the PKM and uh, we grafted uh, in uh, rootstock, a uh, wild rootstock, root the yield is more. So that is why we are uh, taken into consideration for. Uh, Will purpose next. So there is the tomato by the grafting method. Some merits already might have known. This is the grafting and uh, eco friendly. No any uh, either eco friendly is a off season cut. Any time you can go for uh, grafting and uh, production. Fertilizer use efficiency you can go into reduce. Uh, no need for long term crop rotation. Continuously three to three every month uh, shifting is not possible. Once you plant three to four years is there. That is possible. Restrict the biotic and abiotic crests. It is possible. Uh, increase the crop for duration and acts as a perennial time. Already I told three to four years duration. Continuous profuse flowering is there. Increase the yield and quality of the produce. Quality is very important. Not only the yield. On, uh, you, my question is to uh, the rootstock influence the quality or decrease the quality is very important. There is no much difference between the normal brinjal quality and grafted brinjal quality as it is, it will come because the rootstock and cyan is same family. Either wild or cultivated, same family, there is no much difference. That is why there is no any reduction in the quality. Uh, my question to the Dr. Armagam, sir, this was, sir, uh, why is a uh, rootstock is uh, one thing, cyan is we have selected, both are same family. But this is wild, this is cultivated. Uh, maybe it may be alter the quality. Now, Baba, it is only supporting leg. If your body is there, your leg is both are the human being parts, you know. That is why there is no any chance. So, quality is good. So, 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 so for organic. So, everyone telling organic, no any varieties, any, uh, hybrids are not working for organics. Only this wild type of ninja are working. Uh, we are not studied about the, it is possible we can, uh, in a future you can take pest and disease resistant through rootstock uh, grafting. That is very important because in Brinjal, uh, the fruit borer is very important. What percent of fruit borer is invested? Uh, 
through grafting or not that we have to check it that is very important next they merits there are always there is no incompatible with sign and work that is why tomato and brinjal uh, roast are not compatible long germination after seed germination is take more time there is a te technique is required skill is required to make a germination presence of spines on the stem some wild species can't able to hold in the hand it is highly difficult requires more time and materials and uh, because collection is the itself is a task uh, intentionally or profusely uh, don't go while uh, sitting in bus going somewhere you pass your eyes towards tank roads oh this is the brinjal okay collect like that you have to collect the germ plant simply can don't hunt go for hunting Huh? Requires skilled and trained person is required. That is very important. It means gardener is very important. Skill is very important for the person to make a grafting. Otherwise, the horticulture is not success. Grafter initial slightly high, not too much. I think no, you might have know this tools. What type of maybe uh, machineries when you use machineries, cost is high. Otherwise, no problem. So these are all the things of different. Uh, locations yeah uh, this is the grandiflorum seedlings next this is the solanum tarum seedlings so these are all the huge strains when i have taken uh, the grafting propagations there i have given the information the students them so here one more uh, study is there uh, the uh, root stocks resistant to drought out of that i selected grandiflorum there are different root stocks and part experiment conducted three to four experiment finally we are uh, identified the Grandy for all. Next, so these are all the students are enjoying with grafting. I like you people. Yeah. Next, so these are all the Ravi students. They are uh, enjoying this uh, grafting techniques. Next, next, another batch I think. Next, next. So this is the humidifier chamber. So he is uh, putting water. Uh, downside sand. After that, uh, you place this uh, trace. More uh, moisture is there. Automatically, success rate is more. That's why you put the sand. It is humid pair also there. Next, there are the different uh, state uh, bank of officers are visited uh, the, to the campus near the I have there. Next, so these are all the things about the nursery and uh, especially grafting of. Uh, especially in vegetable crops horticulture we have a uh, big but in vegetables is, is, is i it uh, present uh, in future this type of uh, uh, technique especially uh, drought resistant salt resistant uh, bacterial root resistant such root stock important then your uh, traditional breeding method breeding methods are there no doubt even if you develop such varieties are easily prone to the different uh, maybe days to two or three years the varieties are vanish which are not so resistant showing resistance that is why how to identify later the we can uh, we are going to increase the production productivity of the agriculture or vegetable crop especially